Hello folks, I uh, am making this video as my very first tutorial um, to how to make this shape out of magnetic spheres. And in past videos I talked about the types of magnets I used. I'm not going to mention the types of magnets I use because I don't think it's that important. Uh, there are a lot of brands of magnets out there and I just assume not mention any in particular because I don't want anyone to be biased. Whatever magnet sphere you use, you know, that'll be what you want to use. So anyway, this shape, uh, my fiance said looks like a diving helmet from the old Navy divers uh, back in the day. So I uh, am calling this the diver ball. And I'm going to show you how to make it. And what you need to do is make 24 of these little subunits in order to make it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You get a uh, chain of magnets. And what you want to start out doing is making a pentagon. Sorry, a hexagon and uh, take that hexagon and pinch it into a triangle like that and then you want to add two magnets to one of the edges so that looks like a little arrowhead and now for each point of the triangle you don't want to wrap the chain directly around it you want to go underneath each point like that and then Connect the next magnet, go underneath that point, like that, connect the next magnet, and there's the last point you want to go underneath, and that's the last magnet you need, so pinch it off, and you have that shape. With a triangle on top, and you flip it over, and it is a little bit of a warped triangle here, curved sides of nine magnets and it's kind of scoop shaped like a tortilla chip and you need like I said you need 24 of these for every diver ball and I'll make one more show you how to do it again real slow make a hexagon pinch it into a triangle make your arrowhead underneath the point, connect, connect, there's the next point, underneath, connect those two, and your last point, pinch off that magnet, and there you go. That's the subunit. Alright, and to connect these, what you do is, in the middle of the triangle here, you see these two magnets, these two. You want to connect them on those two magnets like that and then in. Just like that. And then take a third one connect in the same way. Take these two middle two magnets connect them like that and then those edges you bring together to connect just like that. You may notice a little gap here, like all the magnets are not meeting correctly. That's okay. These will all seat together nicely once the whole shape is complete. And when you turn the shape this way, you'll notice there are three magnets that are kind of sticking up and are not flat with the rest of the shape. You want to remove those magnets for the best looking final result. It's not absolutely necessary, but I do recommend it. So that you're left with that shape, and now that is flat. And on the other side, you have these curves, like that. And what you want to do is take two of these, and you want to connect them on those four magnets right there and those four right there 
so that when they're together you have a curve this way like a smiley face and a curve that way like a frowny face and again you see some gaps here where the magnets are not meeting do not worry about that they will all come together so then you get two of these and you're going to connect them on the same four magnets that you did the, to start with connect the two halves together get two more of those connect them in the same way Okay. Now you want to put these two halves together very carefully until you have that shape. Now, like I told you about the gaps, you see gaps here and various places. All you do is gently pinch and rotate and pinch. You'll hear all the magnets snapping together and seating very nicely until you have this nice complete shape the diver ball alright now to connect multiple units you can obviously see where they could connect this big circle here makes probably the number one best connection and so you can get two balls and line them up connect them just like that now I made some other ones here I'm going to connect in the same way, just like that, and then you can connect those two, just like that, and get another four balls, and connect them in the same way. And then you can take those two halves and connect those together. And there you have a nice big square matrix of the diver ball unit. And it's fairly stable. It doesn't wiggle around a lot. This is a good stable unit. I want to show you another shape you can do with this unit, but I have to stop the video because I don't have enough magnetic spheres to produce the next shape. I don't have enough in reserve, so I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to separate these units and show you another configuration that you can do. Alright, I'm back and I got those separated. And for this one you only need six. Uh, on this connection point I want to show you, you notice in the middle of these three circles is a triangle face with the points off so it looks like a little truncated triangle and that makes a good connection point as well so I'll try to connect a few of those and show you Okay. that and take a third one connect it and they don't come together perfectly you have to kind of tease it around and bend it just like that so that you have a triad there I'm sorry, I'm starting and stopping this video a couple of times just so I can make sure I got my bearings here. I don't want to mess this up completely. These take a while to make. Here's another one. Connecting right there. And fold those over. Like that. Stop the video again here. Alright, I apologize for all that starting and stopping. 
I'm not real good at uh, making these videos at this point. It's my very first uh, tutorial, so please forgive me. I'm going to connect another one right there. And then connect it here. And also right here. And these do take a, take a little coaxing. And the final one I'm going to put right here on these four faces. Just tease those into place. Like that. Like that. Gently. It's a very bulky shape, and like that. So now you have this uh, six ball figure, which is like a mini octahedron. And I'm going to be uh, doing some more videos. Um, using the basic tortilla chip subunit so please be on the lookout for that and if you uh, like this video please leave some comments I enjoy your feedback uh, positive or negative doesn't matter <clears throat> I learn from all of it and if anyone else wants to do any videos using uh, any of these units um, please post it and let me know I'd love to see what you come up with and I appreciate you watching